Wisdom. The Film Review, Friday at 5.45 on the BBC News Channel. Millions of British gas customers prepare for another price hike from October. Your standard variable tariff will go up by 3.8%. That's an extra £44 on dual fuel bills. It makes me angry that they will take no notice of any watchdog committees through Parliament and the government, uh, and they will just go ahead with it, knowing that it will hurt millions of customers. It's the second price rise from British Gas this year. The regulator says if you're unhappy, switch. Also on the programme. After Boris Johnson's comments on Muslim face veils, a former Attorney General says he'd leave the Conservative Party if Mr Johnson ever became leader. It's the worst dry spell in years. Now the whole of New South Wales in Australia is experiencing drought. Remembering the Battle of Amiens 100 years ago today, thousands attend a commemorative event in northern France. It was the battle that changed the tide of World War I. This afternoon, the Prime Minister and Prince William joined descendants of those who fought here to pay tribute. And three in a row for Adam Peaty. He strikes gold again at the European Championships. Coming up on Sports Day on BBC News, we'll be at the European Championships in Berlin, where Britain's Tim Duckworth leads the decathlon, which is two events left to go. Good evening and welcome to the BBC News at Six. British Gas is increasing prices for millions of customers for the second time this year. The firm's standard variable tariff will go up by 3.8%, raising the annual bill for a typical dual fuel customer by £44. The change comes into effect in October and Centrica, which owns British Gas, is blaming the price rise on higher costs in the wholesale market. Our business correspondent, Emma Simpson, has a story. It is 15 minutes past six, our top story this evening. Millions of British gas customers will pay higher prices from October. It's the second cost hike in a year. And fresh from her triumph last night, we speak to the future of British athletics, Dina Asher-Smith. Coming up on Sports Day on BBC News, Chelsea looks set to break the world record for a goalkeeper after Kepa Ariza Balega pays his £71 million release clause to leave Athletic Bilbao. Three thousand people have attended commemorations at uh, Amiens Cathedral in northeastern France, marking the centenary of the battle that turned the tide of the First World War. The Battle of Amiens lasted just four days, but it was one of the most successful for the Allies of the whole conflict. Theresa May and the Duke of Cambridge were among those who paid tribute to the fallen, and hundreds of descendants of the troops that took part were also there. Let's join Sophie Rayworth, who's in Amiens for us this evening. Sophie. The Battle of Amiens was launched in the fields around this city at just after 4 a.m. 100 years ago today. The Germans were not expecting it. By that evening, the Allies had pushed deep into German-held territory. They'd taken thousands of prisoners. After four years of trench warfare and stalemate, it was their most successful single day on the Western Front. Today's event here at the Cathedral in... ...the dry, warm at times, but not nearly as warm as it has been. Clive. Ben, many thanks for that. Ben Rich there. And that's it. So, goodbye from the BBC News at six. Now on BBC One, let's join our news teams where you are. Have a very good evening. Follow the story, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. You can follow every moment in depth with BBC News. Get the full story at bbc.co.uk forward slash news.
Get the headlines as they happen with the breaking news alert. And keep up with events by watching the BBC News Channel in the app. Follow the story wherever you are with BBC News. Our World is a unique series of films on the BBC. I want to be able to bring her home. Offering personal insights into global events. Our World. Stories that speak for themselves. Saturday and Sunday nights at 9.30 on the BBC News Channel. Hello, this is BBC News with Carol Walker, the headlines. More than three million British gas customers are facing a rise in prices for the second time this year. Boris Johnson faces growing criticism of his comments about Muslim women who wear the burqa. The Duke of Cambridge and the Prime Minister have attended commemorations in northern France to mark the centenary of the Battle of Amiens the beginning of the end of World War I. The value of sterling has fallen below $1.29 for the first time in nearly a year. Well, in a moment, it'll be time for Sports Day, but first a look at what else is coming up this evening here on BBC News. We'll get more reaction to the row over Boris Johnson's article about Muslim women and the veil as another senior Conservative calls his comments gratuitously offensive. 100 years on, we'll be remembering the Battle of Amiens as commemorations are held to mark the campaign which helped to bring about the end of the First World War. And why celebrities on Instagram are ruining the lives of ugly dogs who are looking for a home. Well, that's all ahead here on BBC News, but now it's time for Sports Day. Hello there, welcome to Sports Day. I'm Azzy Farney. Coming up, 